Hi, welcome back to Man vs Film. Now, Billy Lynn's half-time, sorry, Billy Lynn's long half-time walk must be in a contender for craziest title of a movie this year so far. But once you see the movie, you really do realise that the title's kind of pointless anyway. Directed by Ang Lee and with a newcomer Joe Allen in the lead role of Billy Lynn, this is a movie about a troop, the Bravo troop, and there was some video of them fighting insurgents, and they became kind of momentary stars. And they're given back to, they're given a break in duty, come back to the US to do a sort of promotional tour. I think it's just to sort of boost the army's more uh, perception and amongst general people. And they end up on this tour doing certain things. And on this one day, which the movie's primarily set on this one day, they're going to a football game where they're going to do something at half time. You don't really find out until they get to it. They're meeting and greeting lots of people and they have various interactions with public. And there is flashbacks to the day where that video was made when they're battling the insurgents. That's the basic premise of Billy Lynn's long half time walk. <laughs> And it doesn't say too much about the movie. The movie kind of is anti-war, so to speak, because it really does focus on the effect that the war has on this troop. But it also has an effect on the way public perceive these people. Some people praise them, some people take a grudge against them, some people just don't understand the kind of things that they're going through. And it's all told through the movie through various interactions and conversations with public. Now, I kind of liked Billy Lynn for certain reasons. I didn't really know where the story was going to go. I liked the troop, I liked them all together, I liked Joe Alwyn, I particularly liked Garrett Hedlund, an actor who I, I do kind of like in everything he's in. And the troop together was fantastic, the way they kind of had this camaraderie, they all kind of knew each other inside out, and you felt that when you're watching the movie. If one of them was hurting, the other people would pick up the slack, they would look after them, they would take care of each other. They had a real fraternity nature about them. The flashbacks to the war when they're fighting the insurgents is really good. It's quite action-packed, it is kind of shocking as well. It's not shot in a super fantastical way, like the way Michael Bay would shoot something, where it's really stylised action. It's kind of shot as in that kind of almost documentary type of fashion. There's nothing super duper happening, it's just natural. But I did have a couple of issues with the movie. There is this really weird, really forced kind of love aspect of the movie that I just couldn't get my head round. It seems really staged, it seems really forced and these few people who basically meet each other for a matter of minutes, just the whole thing that comes out of that just seems wrong, it seems unnatural and it just seems kind of pushed in there for I'm not really too sure what. A little bit preachy I think as well and that's another aspect of the movie. The movie can be a little bit preachy at times and it kind of not so much subtly pushes its message on you as kind of slaps you in the face with it. But these scenes kind of move by fairly quickly and it gets on with the story of these characters. All the way through the movie, Billy is having a kind of crisis of conscience. Does he want to stay in the army with his brotherhood of friends? Does he want to leave the army and get away from the destruction and the ultimately death that he's been involved with, whether it's going to be his own or whether it's going to be other people's, it's just something that's not particularly nice. He kind of weighing it up throughout the movie as well. There is some nice directorial touches with it as well, where Ang Lee can be, like say at one point they're having a, a press conference and whenever it's the real answer they would give, it kind of drowns out the colour and they give the real answer, then the colour and noise fades back in and they give, if you know, the political answer. And it's quite funny, it's quite different, it's a nice touch and you know, direction you can't really fault. Overall, I'm going to give Billy Lynn's long half-time walk <laughs> That title. I'm going to give it 3 out of 5. I think it's good. It's interesting enough. It's got some good action. It's got one of those curious tales that you don't really know where it's going or what it's trying to get to, although ultimately it kind of slaps you in the face with that, which is one of the down points. The message is just hammering home at you. The love story. I can't get my head around that. If anybody can explain that part to me as to why that is so forced and so sudden, let me know in the comment box below. And basically that's it. Worth seeing in the big screen? Sure, why not? So let me know in the comment box below what you thought of Billy Lynn's long half-time walk and I will see you next time on Man Vs Film.